everyone, I am here today with this week's weekly haul. It's a few days late. I've had quite a hectic time of it recently, as you know, so it's gonna look like I'm uploading a lot of hauls in one go when actually I've just not been uploading much at all. So excuse the current pattern, it's going to sort itself out soon. So I've got four books to show you today. One of them is a physical book and three are net galley books. So I'll start with the physical book and this is Eve of Man by Giovanna and Tom Fletcher. This is a book that came out last year I think and I was desperate to pick it up last year but I never got around to it. So when I was food shopping last week and saw this in my local Tesco for £3.50 I was like oh, I'm having that. It's a Tesco exclusive one so it's got a um, Q&A section in the back which I can't wait to check out as well. And I just love this cover because you take that bit and then you've got that. What a fabulous cover design. So if you're not aware, this is a YA sci-fi, I think dystopian maybe, series where I can't remember an awful lot about it anymore except that people were raving about it. It went down really well. There's a problem with female babies not being born anymore from what I remember and then obviously eventually one gets popped out called Eve and I'm assuming it's about how society is then functioning with this one female and how they need to get society to kind of procreate again. I'm really, really intrigued. This will be on my February TBR. So on to the net galley books. As I said there are three. The first one is The Wife's Shadow by Kath Weeks. And this comes out on the 28th of March. And this is basically a novel that shows how little we really know about the person we marry. Or indeed just anyone really. It, you never really properly know someone, do you? So it says that every woman has a secret and she's hiding something from her past basically. And then she starts being followed and she assumes that it's someone from her past coming back to get her without knowing what her past is this could go down so many different avenues. This one stood out to me because the cover alone just creeped me out a bit. I was like, ooh, the actual image of a shadow on the cover. I wondered just exactly what is in this woman's past. Next we have The Pact We Made by Leila Alamar. And this comes out on the 7th of March. And this one stood out to me because it's set in Kuwait. And it's definitely a place I have never read a book about. And I, I want to broaden my horizons this year and try and just read as widely as possible. It's always something I try to do anyway, but I'm being extra conscious this year to like just keep an eye and if something interests me then potentially pick it up and this interested me. It's about this woman, Dahlia, and she has like kind of a double life on the go. So on the one hand, she's a young woman, she's got a successful job, she's got great friends, a social life. But on the other hand, she's also unmarried, she lives with her parents still, she's got an anxiety disorder and there's some sort of other secret going on with that one as well. So I'm really intrigued for this one and I'll definitely be reading this in February too. In fact, pretty much because of my goals this year, everything I'm hauling should be reviewed soon too, in theory. The final book I have to show you this week is The Blame Game by CJ Cook. And this also comes out on the 7th of March. This one stood out to me because it's a thriller and I can't resist a thriller. I don't know much about it at all. And that's usually the best way to go into a thriller, let's face it. So what do I know? It says here, he said he'd do anything to protect her. She said she'd do anything to protect her family. And they both said they would forget what happened 22 years ago. But now it seems that there is someone who will stop, in, who will stop at nothing to make them remember. I suppose it all hinges on what happened 22 years ago into what direction this is gonna go. That's literally all I know. I don't care about knowing anything more than that. I will happily go into thrillers knowing literally just the title, to be honest. So well excited for this. So that's the four books I have to show you this week. As I said, I found this in Tesco for £3.50. So if you're looking to pick up a cheap paperback copy of this and you're in the UK, give your local Tesco a checkout. Meanwhile, these other three books were off NetGalley, so if you have access to NetGalley, you could still try and request them on there if you were wanting to review them too. But let me know what you think of the books I have picked up. 
drop me a comment down below with any of your other thoughts thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up subscribe by clicking the image of me if you want to see more book views and other bookish content from me and i will see you tomorrow because i am being ridiculously over organized right now with my reading goals bye bye